430, there is a push to keep Oregon lawmakers from hiding which measures they're proposing by forcing them to sign them. Well, and we also want to know if lawmakers could put a stop to drafting bills that they know have little chance of passing. Our Lisa Balick is looking into this at the Capitol. Lawmakers' time here is limited. They have to be done with the session by July. So how is it that they draft thousands of measures that essentially will go nowhere? A thousand dollar tax on old cars, a tax on coffee. Bills drafted this session that legislative leaders say are going nowhere. Others such as making the border collie the official state dog are getting traction. I would love to make St. Paul Rodeo the rodeo of Oregon, but that would really tick off everybody in Pendleton, wouldn't it? So what's the point? So there are a lot of really pointless bills that come through this building. Republican Representative Bill Post of Kaiser tells me his constituents come to him with all kinds of issues they want to see dealt with by the legislature. But he says he's selective about what he thinks should move forward. Here at the Legislative Council office, sort of the law firm for the lawmakers, 22 attorneys research and craft their ideas into bills. Typically in a two-year cycle, uh, there are about 4,000 requests for bills um, and about 1,000 uh, become law. But I don't think there should be a restriction um, on it, but certainly perhaps people should use wisdom in what they choose to do. But House Republican leader Mike McLean does want more transparency. That's why he's proposed a change to lawmaker rules to make legislators have to put their name on a bill, not just a committee name as a sponsor, like what happened on the car tax proposal. As for what some call frivolous bills, as well as measures that have no chance of even getting discussed, there's really just one way to stop them. It's going to require self-control, and I think the public. It may be worth your time to look up your lawmaker and see what kind of measures they're proposing. In Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.